Hey everybody, Keith K here with another Stranded Deep tutorial. Welcome back to the South Pacific. Today we're going to take a look at different ways to catch fish. Um, and I will show you how to craft uh, three different um, items that you can use to catch fish. And then uh, we'll quickly um, put them on the smoker uh, and cook them up. And uh, if you uh, are enjoying these tutorials, uh, please do consider subscribing to the channel. It definitely helps. Um, and a like really helps other folks find it. Uh, appreciate that. And let's get going. So uh, the three different uh, items we're going to look at are the crude fishing spear, the fishing rod, which does require a bobber. I've pre-crafted that. Um, in a prior episode, I showed where you can find uh, different buoy balls. Um, and those are primarily uh, found at different shipwrecks and one buoy ball can be easily crafted into a bobber. So that's the only thing I've prepared uh, in advance. And then the last item we'll look at here is a fish trap, um, which is passive, uh, just like the bird snare. You set it up and you leave it, set it and forget it, if you will. And uh, you can come back and collect your food you know, when you, um, when you have the time. You don't actually have to go fishing. So uh, without further ado, let's get started. First, we'll take a look at the crude fishing spear uh, and this is just one wood stick uh, you can find these often in quite a bit of abundance uh, on shipwrecks in different crates um, you know even sometimes just laying around on the uh, various islands so these will be fairly plentiful and they only take one stick to craft but they're actually quite good um, i'll just drop it so you can take another look at it here and, you know, for my money, uh, this is my preferred method of going fishing because it's super quick. You know, you can just go into the water, press your left mouse button, catch your fish, press it again and grab it. Uh, you know, and in a short period of time, I know the sardines are small, uh, but often you're just looking to put, you know, one or two um, refills on your uh, hunger meter there. And honestly, sardines do it quite well. However, if you want to get some uh, bigger meat, you can go out past uh, where, the, where the ledge drops off here. And there are some bigger fish. I believe the archer is a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and then the, you know, the biggest one uh, is the grouper. I don't know if we'll find one here. You want to watch out for that snake that is not your friend ah here's a grouper so let's just hope we don't get bit by a shark and we're just gonna go you gotta hit him a couple of times he's a big guy giant grouper fish uh, and he'll just float to the top when he's had enough <coughs> and you gotta either drag him to the shore or you could just skin him out here um, let's see how that works we'll just skin him out here Oh, gross. He doesn't sink on us, so it's really the most effective way as long as you're not getting attacked. And then he's going to fade away. And then we're going to head back. All right, next up, we've got the fishing rod. So the fishing rod requires three lashings and three wooden sticks, which I have uh, pre-staged here. So all you have to do is go ahead and craft that. You will need to have the bobber in your inventory. You don't actually, you see, if you, once it's in your inventory, it just shows up on the stick, on the fishing rod, I mean. Um, and even though they're separate in your inventory, when you pull the fishing rod out, it does have the bobber on it. Now, we'll just take a quick look at how this works. Go to your favorite fishing spot. You're gonna press your right mouse button. I'm not sure what this is on the console, so hopefully somebody knows and can share that. But you press your right mouse button to draw your rod back, and then you cast it by pressing your left and mouse button and holding it. Now, we wait. All right, now we've got something hooked, so we're gonna press our left mouse button and try to reel this sucker in. But you'll see the rod bends and you don't want it to snap, so you have to let go and then press again, let go. Essentially, you're just fighting with the fish and waiting for them to get tired. Uh, but you don't want to snap your rod, which will happen. And then once it's close enough, 
We'll see how long this is. There we go. And it just goes right into your inventory. So you can see for the amount of time we spent on this, um, it took quite a quite a bit of time, right? Not terrible. It's kind of like Minecraft fishing. Uh, if you want to do it, it just to chill out and do a little fishing, um, it works. Uh, except you don't get any magic items. <laughs> you just get fish. So we'll place this here with the other fish we've already caught. And we'll take a look at our next item, which is the um, fishing trap. So that's here under hunting. And you need two lashings, two rocks, six sticks. Um, so it's a little more expensive. Um, and then you just craft it. But, uh, you know, it doesn't wear out as far as I can tell. Um, and it doesn't require any of your time. Once you get it set up, you just kind of leave it out here. And I always get a little bit of confused. So let's see, I'm going to place it. So you don't put it in your inventory. You can see it says uh, press E to set. So I believe we want this... Um, Oops, this side here facing the other way. I could be wrong, I can never remember, to be honest. All right, so once we've got it somewhere near where there's some fish around, we're just gonna press E and set it. Yeah, that's what we wanted. And then basically swim in this end here and they'll get caught inside. Uh, and you might have to wait quite a bit of time for some fish to get in here. Uh, I've already got one set up that's been sitting around for a while, so we'll take a look at that. Over here. And yeah, you can see there's a fish in there, and you're just going to press E to collect it. There we go. And then it's ready uh, to catch a new one, just really like the bird snare. So it's passive, you don't have to really deal with it. And that's pretty much fishing. Um, we'll just take a look at the different sizes of the meat that we got real quick. So we got two discus fish. Oh, it's disgusting. And they gave us a small fish. Then the archer fish, which we caught a little further out. Yeah, that's just small as well. So, again, I think the sardines are the easiest way to go uh, in terms of the time it takes and the resource uh, to create the fishing tool. Uh, I think it's the biggest or the best bang for your buck. Oh, gross. And that's pretty much fishing. So, you can just cook them up however you prefer. Uh, that's it for today. Real quick and simple. Hopefully this helps you keep yourself fed. And again, uh, please do consider subscribing if you aren't already. I really appreciate it. Thanks everybody and we'll see you back here soon.